Cindy and today I am here with a mini book haul for you. I recently went to the Gold Coast and of course I bought a few books because they have way more bookshops than I do here in my town. So I've got four books to show you today and two little pieces of... two little pieces of something. I don't know what to call them. Things. You, you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. So the first thing I got was the pop collectibles. You know those pop vinyls that you can get of like everything ever. I got a Jamie and Claire pop collectible. They're very cute. So I put them with my Outlander collection up here because I really wanted them. I knew they came out a few months ago and I couldn't find them here. So I went to this amazing shop called Zing, which is like literally life there. They just have everything, TV show, movies, everything like little toys and little collectibles and posters and games and everything you could ever want in this amazing shop. So me and my sister spent a very long time there. So I'm so happy to finally have these two for the shelf, although Claire has a very small base to stand on so she keeps falling over all the time and it's very painful, but I'm so happy that I finally have these two. The next things I have to show you are the four books. So this one uh, my grandma actually bought me. I was looking and I was at QBD, which is a bookshop, and literally the whole wall was just everything that I wanted. I was like, I want everything on that shelf so much, but I based it down to two books and my grandma was kind enough and she bought me The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. And and this book is about people that aren't the like main characters in like a war against some sort of thing. So in this town, usually, you know how you have like vampires and zombies attack and you usually are following the action of the story. Well, in this book, these are just people that are living in a town where these things are going on. So, you know, people are blowing up their high school and stuff and they're like, great, great, thanks, thanks everyone. And so it's really cool because it's nice to not follow the action, I guess of what you usually would, so I think it'd be a really cool perspective of like what else, you know, happens, you know, when you're not in the main action of the story. So I'm very excited to read this one. I'm actually already reading it, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. The next book I have here was one I didn't know if I wanted to get. I was gonna order it online, and then I just didn't, and then I saw it for the, at the shops for like $25, and I was like, yes, give it to me now. And that is The Marvels by Brian Selznick, which is a gorgeous book, like gorgeous. Look at that. It's got gold, it's absolutely massive and heavy, it's like 800 pages or something obscene. It's like 700 pages, but the cool thing about this is that it is half illustrations, so it's like 400 pages of illustrations, and then at the back, pack 300, is just the words. So basically these are two stories that come together. So the picture story, which links in with the further story later on, is set in 1766 London, and this boy is shipwrecked in London, um, and his family it is basically the story of his family growing up there as actors at an amphitheatre. And then the second story is about a boy in the 1990s who is living in London, and he finds out uncle is living in this old house, that the first story people lived in and that's his family and he finds out about all that happened back then. So I think it sounds really cool. It's not 100% my cup of tea, I don't think, but I think it's gonna be really cool with the illustrations to have such a long book of that and then linking in with the writing story at the end. I think it's gonna be really cool and really different, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. The next book is the book that I was going to the Gold Coast that I was like, I have to get this book no matter what, and it was very easy to find and I'm very excited for it, and that is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And I'm very excited to find out that they are Australian authors, or living in Australia currently at least, and I'm so excited about that because that's amazing. And I also just read that this is one of a trilogy, so I'm very excited to read this now, like more than before. So this one is like an intergalactic space fight thing from like the 2000 and 2575, and there's this big ship and someone is having a war, I don't know if it's aliens or something, I haven't really read it that much. There's some sort of intergalactic war going on and they're trying to find this ship with all these refugees on it because I think they've moved on to live on Mars or something? I'm, I'm not sure if I'm thinking of the right book now. I don't think I am. <laughs> but anyway, and then these two friends are on the ship and they get separated onto separate refugee ships and so they're basically communicating and talking to each other during this war and I'm so happy to find out there's other books in this series but obviously the best thing which everyone knows about is just the formatting of the book is just stunning. 
like I'm so excited to read it. I'm a little concerned I'm gonna get a little lost because it's just so many different texts in one but I'm very excited to read this and and I don't know when I'm gonna read this one but hopefully soon because I really am excited to read this. So the last book I have to show you is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin and this one I think is kind of like another one I've heard of and this is a story about a girl living in uh, Germany in 1956 and it is 10 years after the Germans supposedly won the war. So World War II in this story is won by the Germans not actually how history played out so I think that sounds cool enough in its own. Um, so basically this girl is part of a resistance and her one mission is to kill Hitler. So I think this is gonna be a really cool sort of historical fiction but obviously not because it's not real you know what I mean so I think this is gonna be a really cool and interesting and a bit of a crazy field book so I'm also very keen to read this one so that's it for my mini book haul today I hope you enjoyed watching it was nice just a quick little video to show you some things so I didn't want to do it in my wrap-up video so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye